Diarrhoea was an enormous problem at the turn of the 19th century, in young children in particular. Many of them died. By the 1960s, children presenting to hospital and admitted for treatment were adequately protected from death by dehydration. Australia-wide, the numbers admitted to hospital for treatment were about 10,000 annually, so it was still a very important disease of children, occasionally fatal. There was about 80% of children admitted to hospital. There was no apparent identifiable cause. It was logically probably a virus, but we turned to look with an electron microscope to see what was in the damaged gut. And to our surprise and delight, the very first section we looked at showed what was then a new virus. The discovery of rotavirus was immediately confirmed worldwide. You could almost hear people switching on their electron microscopes to have a look. Slowly accumulating evidence showed that this was the single most important cause of acute life-threatening gastroenteritis in young children throughout the world. This broadened my outlook enormously, Melbourne to <laughs> the world, <laughs> very suddenly. I was recruited to a WHO committee on the Control for Diarrheal Diseases program. Clearly, in vaccine development, this was such a big project that it needed more than just uh, university laboratories and research. We provided the rationale for vaccine development, but it was taken over by two major drug companies, Merck and SmithKline. Neither of them had been trialled in newborn babies. We at the Murdoch had identified a particular strain of rotavirus which was adapted to grow in newborn babies. There are currently trials going on in New Zealand and in Yogyakarta in Indonesia.